Supercross, the races are short. They're like a sprint race. Track position is everything. That's why we put such a premium on your start strategy and, of course, your gate pick. If you go down to the first turn and look back at it, you'd think, like, those three gates because you have, you have a little bit of an angle. Here's how we determine gate selection on race day. In qualifying practice, the fastest guy gets the first pick for the heat race. Your finishing order in the heat race then determines the gate pick you're going to get for the final. Two of the most critical things when picking your gate are the line of sight to the first turn and the shortest distance to get there. When I'm talking about line of sight, what I mean by that is the angle at which your eyes are looking at turn one from your gate. And when you get first gate pick, you want to pick the shortest distance from point to point. Ready for the final time. Drop the gate. Land rushes onto that first corner. Here's a few things the riders think about. You got to know your competitors. What you would hope for is that you're going to line up next to someone that's going to give you some respect. But some guys are mean. The only thing they think about when they come out of the start is cutting off the other rider. You don't have to be the first guy to react, but you have to be the first guy to put the whole thing together for the first 15 feet. You can win or lose the race right here. Oh, wow! Big off right in the middle! This is where everybody funnels down to on the start. You can see behind us, we raised two gates. Those, I believe, will be first choice because you haven't left yourself so far outside that you're gonna get smoked on the inside. But when you come into the first turn, you have a little angle where you can use your brakes, which allows you to come into the corner a little bit deeper. Naturally, you'd want to be inside as far as you can be. But when there's other riders, you're taking a chance on getting pinched off. You want to go just on the edge where you can control the corner instead of another guy controlling you. One of the other options is moving just a little outside and starting next to the doghouse. Well, the confidence you get out of that is the five extra feet you have of open space instead of having another rider right next to you. And of course, this is where you want to end up first. We call it the hole shot. 